Hi again, I'm Tyler. And I'm Brian. And so on this edition, what we're going to do is talk about the importance of having an automated pass-fail inspection system. There's a lot of people that make fiber scopes out there, but they're not all the same. Um, Tyler, what is the main reason why I'd want to go through and use an automated pass-fail inspection software program? Yeah, I, we, we've talked about this briefly on another episode where you know, you and I could, if the IEC inspection criteria allows for a certain size uh, particle to be acceptable, but anything larger than that size uh, is is unacceptable, we could stare at that screen and have different opinions on right. what we it think. Scratches and be. pits as well, right? It, so whether there's permanent defects or uh, removable defects. It, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So having something that takes the guesswork out of that mm -hmm. is priceless. Number one, you can now, no matter who who inspects it, who checks it, and regardless of the skill level of the technician, all they do is they can go up there, use their automated pass-fail microscope, uh, press a button, and then get an analysis result uh, that, is, that is reliable and repeatable. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about it. When I actually use the scopes and I'm doing some testing, it eliminates the human subjectivity. Plus, the other thing, too, it also gives me the ability to have repeatability. So when I do some uh, testing, I can go through, tell our, my customer, hey, here's what we did. And they can, in theory, go back, re replicate the same test, and we should see the same results, right? Um, yeah. The other thing, too, I mean, isn't also having the uh, pass-fail a great way to sort of up your game if you're a contractor that's doing installations? Instant credibility, right? Now you're a contractor, and when you go out and do that installation and that you provide that certification report that says, hey, everything passed, and here's documentation actually showing that – all of the end faces of my connectors upon approval of this project mm -hmm. are exactly pristine. That not only makes up your game, but it also is a bit of an insurance policy. Absolutely. So when later on, when let's say an end user comes in and starts plugging in maybe cables that they didn't inspect and clean, and then when they don't get good results, then they reactively troubleshoot that and inspect it and find a problem. And, and they're going to want to say, hey, you guys gave us a dirty connector. No, according to this report here that when, when you signed off on this, I got a picture here that proves that this was in pristine condition when, when I finished the job. Yeah. I mean, to me, again, having a good inspection scope is important, but having that software to go along with it, to do that automated pass-fail, that's mission critical, right? Because, I mean, we can all take a look at it. And like you said, whether it's a scratch pit, uh, whether it's some contamination, it's all subjective, right? But when you have the software, what it, again, it eliminates the human subjectivity of trying to determine what, you know, pass-fail. Kind of the running joke is, hey, if you can tell the difference between a 5-micron scratch and a 6-micron scratch, you're a heck of a guy. You know, I can't do it, right? We've both been doing it for a long time. No, no, exactly. And I'd rather just go up and press a button and, and trust the analysis results that I get or anybody else would get the same result. Yeah, absolutely. And the nice thing, too, is the software has these, uh, puts it into a report, very easy to read, actually ties it back to the standard. And even if you're doing some different standards, you can go through and make adjustments, right? So if I'm doing something, I think by default, by the IEC 61300335, but if I'm doing something and I need a TIA or a military or broadcast yeah. spec, I can change the software too, and it still does the measurements correctly, right? Yeah, and we've got some contractors that really pride themselves on being better than the IEC standards. So they'll say, hey, our, our criteria is even more strict and so they'll put in their own acceptance criteria and they that way they know that hey here's where the industry benchmark is here's where ours is and we've got proof on that certification report that actually shows all, documentation of all that it time stamps all of it so it really does give them a reliable credibility yeah exactly so anyway folks just remember when you have the automated software it eliminates the subjectivity everything's tested to the standard and in a lot of ways it's a great way for you to help save the frustration of having somebody that messes with the connectors later, you can say, when I left, this is what it looked like, and it passed this standard. It, it proves the quality of your work. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Great. So uh, that's it for this edition. I'm Tyler. I'm Brian. Thanks for watching.